Hello, this is Mike with Hydro Gas Technologies. Just wanted to uh, do an update video. Uh, we're developing a heater, and I've got a little different, different, excuse me, circulation system. And for some people that were interested to see what kind of flame we get out of this, we are drawing 740, about 748, 50 watts. Pulling 7.96 amps, and for the hertz, and we're running at 115.4 volts um, on this kilowatt meter that I got. Powered by a uh, power verter, it's a trip light, uh, 40 amp power verter, inverter, yeah, basically DC power supply. And look at the size of this flame. This flame is can't get my finger too close, but that flame is easily six inches visible. And then we'll turn off the light. You can really see how big that sucker is. This is hydrogen oxygen from water. Go ahead and turn the light on. And I've got it toned down quite a bit because we don't want a, a lot of heat buildup in large amp draw on this thing. We want to try and keep it cool and just a nice steady. It's not popping. The, f the size of the flame is not even changing. And I've got a double feed coming in for uh, flooding. Just kind of threw the wiring together on the top. Nothing special here. But now I'm going to do a uh, uh, little demonstration video. Here I'll with some different types of materials. Uh, this is kiln brick. And I was trying to see if we can get this thing um, not not too hot, but some, sort of an even heat flow. And you can kind of see it glow in there. I've got a heat gun. It's overload already. We're 600 and... There's 900, 750 degrees. I get closer to the flame. It's off the charts. And this only goes up to 1,000 degrees. So it's some pretty good heat coming off of there. The plan is to try and use this to uh, put inside of this heater that I'm building. Since it doesn't draw too many watts. demonstration. We're wondering how hot this is. Well, the flame is not too hot. It just depends on what kind of material you're using. But here's a penny. Can you zoom in on that penny? Watch how fast it eats this penny up. It's already cutting through the penny in seconds. Here's the blue flame from the copper. That is a penny. It was a penny. Remember, this is water. This is just electrolysis. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> I don't know what that stuff is. Sucker's humming. That was a penny. I'm not sure the milking point of copper. There's some nickel. Let's see what nickel does. There's a nickel. Did we just make a new machine or something? I've never seen that happen before. There's a nickel just glowing. Look how red that got just in seconds. starting to have our breakdown. I'm not even going to bother putting the thermometer on there. I know it's well over a thousand degrees. Uh, 
we're blowing some liquid nickel around. That is a strange sound there. This is the most amazing gas I've ever, ever seen. Pretty dang hot. Pretty nice flame going. And we're still at uh, 800 watts. So there's the demonstration video. See, I've taken the uh, second tank that I used to use, and uh, I just got everything going through one tank. So this doubles as not only a reservoir tank, but a, a, a bubbler tank or washer. Basically scrubs the, uh, the gas a little bit, keeps the uh, potassium hydroxide or KOH uh, within the solution. So I'm not going to have to add solution all the time to uh, keep my electrolyte level where it needs to be to be able to produce this gas. One more time, zoom in on the cell. I'm only running three negatives and three positives on this. I couldn't find longer bolts to run one more set of negatives, so I would have. I'm getting more than enough flame though for the heater project that I'm working on. So once again, gas from water, this is Mike, with Hydro Gas Technologies out of Eugene, Oregon. Thanks for watching.